hey guys welcome to this new video and in this video i'll be telling you power bi questions and how to answer them in tech mahindra round so if you are preparing for power bi interview or your friends are preparing just subscribe to my channel and share my channel with your friends so that they will get help in cracking their power bi interview rounds if you haven't seen my playlist uh, so i have a playlist where i have put all the 13 um, 13 videos um, of power bi interview questions so if you are preparing for power bi round then i will suggest that first to go uh, with this playlist and then you can sit for your uh, power bi interview okay so let's get started okay so first question is how to handle the missing values so uh, in power bi handling missing values is very crucial for accurate data analysis okay so in any data analytics project uh handling the missing values or null values are very much um very much important okay so how you can do this in power bi you can use power query so in power query we have three options like replace values so you can replace an uh the missing values or error values to def some default values okay you can remove those rows you basically you can filter out those rows or you can fill values so you can fill values or uh to uh something like fill up or fill down option is there in the power query okay so if you want to do through the dax so you can write this dax measure so if is blank uh the column with where you have to have uh, missing values have to handle the missing values and then the default value uh, and the column okay so this is the dax approach the next question is uh difference between calculated column and measure and that's a very common question and they can ask you this question so basically a calculated column uh, it's like add a new column to the table so if you are adding something uh in the table so basically it will add a column to a table it will store in the data model because you are doing some calculation in the table so it will definitely store in the data model the context will be row wise so in each and every row the calculated column dax measure will go and then um dax uh, will calculate according to the row context and give you the result okay so for per row calculation you can use the calculated column and measure is like something which we use in kpis basically kpi cards because it returns a single value okay and it will be like uh, stored uh, it the it will be calculated based um so when once we do uh once we created the kpis it will then be calculated only so it will be not stored in the data model so that's the basic difference between calculated column and measure so uh, calculated column is stored in the data model and it will consume some space whereas measures will be calculated during the query time okay uh the context will be like a filter context so depends on the filters which we applied on the report and we can use like uh, some average etc okay so calculated column is like total sales uh, sales of quantity into sales per price and uh, total uh, sales measure which will give only one value is like sales of total sales it will be like a uh, on the row basis and it will be only one value so you can use it in kpi card so this example also you have to give in the interview so what is dax and give an example so dax is basically a data analysis expression which we which is a formula language in power bi that you have to told and you can create a custom calculations using dax calculated columns or measures okay simple dax is like sum of sales of amount and uh, year to date sales you can use the total ytd function here okay the next question is explain the row level security and how to implement it so row level uh, security is uh, there to restrict the data access for user based on the rules so for example if uh, i have a report and i only want to show the data uh, so i have four regions east west north and south so i have to show the data according to the region specific so in that case i will give the rules um, basically based on the regions okay so what you have to do go to the modeling manage roles and in manage role you have to create a new role and you have to apply a filter expression so sales of region equal to east so for example if you are creating one role for east one for west one for 
north and one for south okay then you have to publish the power bi uh, report to the power bi service and also you have to assign the users to the roles under security second uh, setting in the power bi service so these all things you have to tell when whenever the interview asks you about the role level security okay how to disable a graph that is changing dynamically so uh, interview wants to know that how you can disable uh, the visuals uh, the interaction between the visuals okay so there is a functionality called edit interactions in the power bi so you have to select the slicer of the filter click on the format and choose the edit interaction in the format we have the edit interaction and then you can disable the interaction by selecting the no filter icon on the graph of that graph basically okay alternatively you can create bookmarks to control uh, control so you can create a toggle button toggle button to uh, enable and disable a, a certain uh, visuals on your report basically okay uh, what is uh, like the process of publishing a report uh, so uh, for example uh, interview wants uh, you to explain him the process how you publish the report in your project so you have to create the report in power bi desktop then you can publish it uh, you can select the workspace uh, choose the workspace in the power bi service and verify the report in the power bi under the selected workspace so these all four steps you have to tell to the interview how to perform join operations in power bi so in power bi we have like merge queries option in the power query so we have merge queries in merge queries you will have like join conditions like you have to do inner join or you have to do left outer join or right outer or full outer or anti joins okay so these all options will come when you choose the merge queries so whenever interview ask you about the joins so you have to oh, tell them about the merge queries option in power query okay how you can create a relationship in power bi so in the model view in power bi desktop you can drag and drop the fields between the tables to create a relationship also you can configure the relationship uh, and set the cardinality and the cross filter direction so everything you can do in the model view itself okay what are the good practices in power bi is like best practices they can ask you in power bi so first of all in data modeling we have to use the star schema our di direct queries if possible so star schema because it's it will be like a best practice to use the star schema rather than snowflake schema okay naming conventions like uh, you have to use the meaningful names of the tables columns and measures so that if someone uh, from your team or different team uh, have to debug your reports then it is easy for them okay uh, then you have to reduce the data set size so remove the unnecessary and uh, rows and columns you can filter out the rows and columns uh, which can re reduce the data set size also you have to use the measures over calculated columns for better performance okay so if you have a choice to create a calculated column or a measure and your interview ask you that what is better so you have to tell that measures are better because they are better for performance they don't store any value in the model and they will be calculated on the query time itself so that's why they are better for be uh, better for query uh, for overall performance of the report okay and you have to use variables in the DAX to enhance the readability and also reusability okay so if you are using some DAX you have to enhance uh, the performance of your report then you have to create some variables in the in that DAX okay uh, so type of roles in power bi service and what was your role so interview asked that what are different type of roles in the power bi services um, and what was your role in the project so we have four roles so we have admin role member role contributor role and viewer role so viewer is only read only access to reports and dashboard admin will have all the privileges like they can manage the entire workspace users and permission they can also publish the report okay member is like can edit content in the workspace and contributor is like just only contribute reports and data set but can't manage the workspace okay member can edit or uh, content in the workspace but contributor cannot edit or manage uh, the workspace okay 
so you have to tell them uh, your role so as a contributor i was responsible for developing report creating data sets and ensuring data accuracy while adhering to workspace standard so these all questions were asked in tech minder around so if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you have any questions you can go on to my linkedin and uh, basically just uh, you can ask uh, me questions on the linkedin and send me the question on the linkedin okay if you have any questions uh, just uh, uh, type in the comment box also if you want this pdf uh, for your study then you can comment pdf in the chat box and the comment box and then i will send you the pdf link also hope you guys uh, like this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be moving forward with more questions in the future thank you so much